What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as Persia. Uh, as you may or may not know, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you may you may know that I've been away for about a week on vacation and I'm a little bit out of it, but um, in the previous part, actually it wasn't the previous part, um, two, two parts ago I made a peace deal with Ghani, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we got some of his cities, all I really wanted was at least Calcutta, and he gave me a peace deal, he was like, alright, I'll give you Jabalpur and Srinagar for free, because I'm scared, and that worked out pretty well. Um, we are a little bit behind, I believe, in terms of, uh, actually, we're, no, we're not. We can make infantry ourselves now. I noticed that he had some infantry, I was a little bit worried, but it looks like we might be okay. Uh, seeing as we can now make that ourselves. So, let's get back into it, and get ourselves a bigger military. Scythia denounced the Aztecs, good. I agree, they are complete scumbags. The Aztecs denounced England, I agree, they are complete scumbags. Good job, good job. Um, so, you know, domination is not really a, um, a goal of mine. We did take, uh, all of Greece, obviously, in the beginning, and, you know, later on we took some of Gandhi stuff, but it's not my goal to win the game that way. Uh, I want to try and win through science. It, it might be difficult to do so, but I feel like that would be, um, let's see, uh, one of the nicer ways to win for once. So, alright, I'm going to send this guy over to the... New cities, there we go. Alright, grab some crabs. So that we can make crab cakes. So we have uh, some inquisitors as well. They're on their way to inquisitize all the heresies that are around. So we want to make sure that, you know, we don't get any heretics. I don't like them. So we're just going to get rid of them. I wish we could kill them, but you know, you can't. All you can do is just send an inquisitor. That's fine, too. I'll just, you know, make do with that. Um, alright, so, that's kind of the, uh, the dealio. Now, we are still behind in science, um, compared to the, uh, the Aztecs. They're, they're actually doing a great job, but we are catching up slowly. Uh, not to mention that since we're a human player, I think that we can take a lot better advantage of Eureka bonuses, stuff like that. Uh, not to mention, we are going to have to make spaceship parts, and I feel like I would be more efficient at doing that. Uh, than he would be, seeing as he's got pretty crappy cities. He's got some good ones, but we have, like, all the production, um, districts and stuff like that, which, you know, he obviously doesn't, I am assuming. Um, so that's the dealio. That's what we're dealing with. Let's get a, um, let's get a friggin' infantry. Shall Actually, that'll take too long. Nah, that's gonna take way too long. Alright, get a, um, get a spy. Which, you know, still takes very, very long, but... Let's just see if we can make it work. Uh, neighborhood. Okay, hello. That's very good. I'm gonna make a neighborhood right there. Alright, let's, uh, get rid of the heresy around here. Don't want any of that wrong beliefs in my, uh, land. It kind of feels wrong to do this, if I'm being honest. Like, you're trying to be a good ruler, and then you're telling people what to believe in. Uh, but apparently, you know, that's totally fine, that's just the way a game works, and you don't have to be upset about literally telling your people what to believe in, like a massive dictator, you know. It, it doesn't seem like a good idea, as a government, to tell your people, uh, what religion is accepted and what is not, but... Apparently this game, it's, you know, that's how it works. Actually, that's how it works in most strategy games, I believe, that involve religion. Uh, I don't think I, I agree with it, though. Russia made Tula. Where'd you make that, buddy? Where'd you make that? Can I see it? Look at that ugly-ass village. The whole palace complex is built along a central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. Now this... Is some of that good shit. So we got ourselves a chemistry forbidden city. Is the dirty part of physics. We got ourselves some chemistry. And it's bugging out. Because of that. I think okay. We're I guess we're good. Uh so we can get because we got physics, we can make those um, research labs and uh, AT crews. So that's good stuff. That'll definitely help us out in the um the wars that might follow. I don't think that a war is at this point a necessity. 
Um, but I'm not gonna lie, like, there, there obviously might be another war if Gandhi's, like, really upset with me. Uh, which, I, if I were him, I probably would be. Sure, grab that. Uh, so we'll see. We got ourselves another scientist. Not bad, I'll take him. I will take him. Uh, research lab. Everywhere. We got two envoys, so Kabul is the one that I really wanted, but I think we're good. Is there a way to see, like, envoys per city-state in an easier way, too? This is the screen that I was looking for, so... Alright, this is, like, pretty far away. We got that one in the bag. We also have Mohenjo in the bag. Uh, we don't have Toronto in the bag. We got Seoul, or Seoul, but not that great. Not great. Not even a little bit. Eh. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Uh, don't know what's going on there, but looks good, I guess. Okay, that's not what was happening. Yeah, we're good. Uh, looks safe. And we could try and go for that. So what I think we should do is... Let's see, send one to Seoul and one to... Valletta. So that's what I'll do. Uh, Seoul. And actually, two to Seoul might be a better idea, just for that extra, you know, science. We are trying to win a science victory here, and this would be uh, something that would uh, help us out tremendously. I also don't know why our science just went down by a whole whole lot. Okay, basically anything that gives me science is, I think, a good one. Um, oh boy. This one's actually kind of... I'll go with Raj. I like that one. Let's see how much of a bonus that really gives us. I don't know. It should be like 15, 16. No, probably less. At least 10 science, right, though? Come on, buddy. What are we doing? Okay, that was a bug, but I'll take it. Um, alright. Boom. Spread it. Right, Inquisitor should obviously go to, um, Parsa. Yep, that's what it's called. There he goes. Just walk your ass over there. Okay, so... I guess we could grab more fish. I don't think there's any downsides to that. So, if we use this guy, Alfred Nobel, uh, we get uh, one random Eureka and then three great people points. So, I'll take it. Computers. All right. I'm not sure how good that one is. Like, I don't know what you need to do to boost it. Computers. Where are we? All right. I mean, okay. Could be better. Could have gotten a better boost, but, you know, it'll have to do. Uh, send you over there. All right. Let's just, I guess, keep this guy around here for now. Let him sleep. Yes. Get me some of them spices. Those are delicious. And then, yeah, we got a library. We're working on, on science. I think we're about caught up to uh, the Aztecs in terms of science per turn. And as soon as we get more research labs and whatnot, we'll, we'll you know, overtake him. And we will be the leader in terms of science. It'll still be a while before we can win that way. Because you need to do so many things. But I think with the previous, you know, previous patch or the one before that... They kind of tweak the numbers in the, in favor of the players. So, it's like a little bit easier to make all this stuff that you need. We're working on it. We're working on everything. Research lab. Ooh, okay. Uh, I feel like a campus might be alright, but... Honestly, this city's lacking in a lot of different ways. Uh, shipyard? Yeah, why not? Okay, so let's trade with... Yes, trade with them. Let's do it. Let's make, uh... Let's get some more options in terms of trade routes. Alright, go. Go. Okay, you're stuck again. Silly guy. Alright, fish. So that should give the, the capital a lot more housing. Uh, they still have the ability to make a, um... A neighborhood as well, which really should give you the biggest bonus there is, so... Okay. Why do I have an immortal? What? 
That guy must have been there a very, very long time without me even noticing. That's sneaky. All right, so we got a chem uh, entertainment complex. We got ourselves a library, a university that was already done. So we are now the leader of science, which is what I like to see. And the more buildings and the more camps we get, like the bigger the lead will become and you know, it's good. It's good stuff. Uh, let's just keep this guy around, this Ranka. That's another library. Yeah, this is very important stuff. Like, I want to get at least six envoys for Stockholm as well, because that is another massive boost to our science. England formed an alliance with Scythia. Hello, okay. Was not expecting that. Uh, university. Uh, eradicate the heresy. Don't need it. Don't need no heresy around here. Let's trade with Stockholm. Right, they want me to convert them, which I guess is possible. Are they... Yeah, they're currently religious. So what we're gonna have to do is grab an Inquisitor and a Missionary. There we go. And we just send them that way and, you know, we'll fix things up. Um, bananas. Let's get some bananas around here. All right, so they got some decent tilas. Tilas. I was gonna say tileage, but I thought it sounded stupid, so I didn't say it. Boom. Upgrade for my man. Hey, Scythia. So I guess we might as well try to be friends with England. Please, England. No. Do not do it. She would accept an alliance, but I feel like it's not in my favor right now. Because if she tries to actually um, convert everything, we're gonna run into some issues that the only way to re really fix those issues would be to, you know, do a little bit of that murder that we are so fond of in this game. And if I have to break the alliance to do that, people are gonna be very upset with me because that is a little bit of warmongering and uh, for some reason, people take issue with that. Never I don't know why. The rifleman, until you've walked a mile in his shoes. That way, he'll be barefoot, and you'll be out of range. Yeah. So now we can upgrade our scouts. We can get more rangers. All right. So these guys are going over to Stockholm, just to get that one extra uh, guy. I'm not sure that we need it, but any every little bit helps. Like I do want to try and get them as an ally. So we're just gonna have to. Try and fix that. All right, go to Stockholm. All right, get me some of them fishies. Always good. More housing, more gold, more food. Nothing to not like. Honestly, that's an intriguing offer, but no. Um, because I need the spices for me. England made a shipyard. All right, we're still dealing with pretty severe um, amenity lack, which I don't like. We need more luxuries all the time. All right, get your ass over to India. Down to, to India's stolen territory. All right, Stockholm and Stockholm. Yeah, fishy. All right, at least that's pretty good. Like, this tile is still pretty garbage, so we're going to have to purchase something that can replace that. Obviously, it's going to be uh, this rainforest. Actually, let's do that straight away. Yes, okay. Uh, there you go. Screw the gold we need production for this city. It's already looking really good, though. Like, it's growing pretty quickly. I'm, I'm quite fond of it already. Even though it's only existed for, I don't even know how long. Not very long. I wish there was a way to see. Like, they should say when you click a city which turn it was established, that would be semi-helpful. At least in certain situations, I don't know. Amenities for Shranka, housing for Olympia, they're working on it, they're about to get an aqueduct. Hey! 
Russia loves me. Oh, yeah. When the guy with the mustache compliments you, you know you're doing well. All right, so we got the, the there boost are of flight. Things extremely hard. Steel. A diamond. And to know oneself. All right, we can now find oil. We get extra uh, production from lumber mills, which is actually really nice around here. Um, and we can make battleships, artillery, and we can build the Eiffel Tower, which I'm not super fond of, but it's like, it's a cool wonder. Although I have to say, I much preferred the way it worked in Civilization V. All right, get flight. Sure, why not? Basically, we're just trying to get to the end, and I don't really need any specific... Um... Hmm. I don't need any specific, um unit or something right away, or any specific technology. I think I'll just go to the campus. Right there. We need a campus. Alright, so, Jabalpur Armory. Alright, make your way over to the stolen land. Do we actually have oil? Yes, we do. Is it actually underneath the city? That's probably how we got one. All right, we got one right there. And we got one right there. All right, pretty good. So we have our source of oil. Please, let me click this away. I don't like it. Let me click you. Son of a, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to click that later because it won't let me click it right now. Yes, uh, let's just, like, let's just, oh, okay, apparently I can't, uh, put them into an escort formation because they're, like, the same type of unit. All right. That kind of sucks. I was, uh, okay, that would have made life slightly easier. I mean, I do enjoy it when life gets slightly easier, but I guess it's not happening. Oh, Scythia's gonna make the Roar Valley. Actually, that's a very, very nice wonder. I believe it adds a ton of production. All right, uh, research lab. We still need uh, an entertainment complex. They need so much. They do. They did fix their housing apparently, although probably only for yep, only a short little bit. Honestly, we should just grab them a neighborhood. Yeah, let's do it right there. That's going to add a ton of housing. Um, arena. Alright, you're almost there. You're doing real good. I literally- I can't walk on my own roads because there's English units in the way. This sucks. I hate the English now. Uh, right, go. Stuck again. Okay. Well, not really much that we can do. We're about to get our factory around here. Let's grab that straight away. I think that's extra housing, ton of extra production. It's, it's just nice stuff all around. Oh, we got them beat. We got two more technologies. We got a ton more signs per turn. Well, not a ton more, but a good amount more. I'd say we're on pretty much on track to win that science victory that were uh, present at the creation. I would have given some useful hints for the better ordering of the universe. All right, we can make the hermitage. We can make a lot of stuff that is mostly cultural that I don't care about. Uh, but the ability to make zoos is very nice. Well, I'm good. I guess we get rid of public works. Let's go with spies. Like, I don't really have any spies, and they could be very, very beneficial, so we should make some. And I think it might be a better idea to just, you know, get to that straight away. I'm not planning on making builders, at least for the, the foreseeable future, which is about five turns in this game, but okay. Actually, it's probably less. Because you have no idea what's about to happen. I just want to add, by the way, I love the way that everything is connected to Stonehenge. Look at that beauty. I like my sieve. All right, so we're going to grab a spy. Yep. And I'm also going to grab conservation just for those um, three envoys and the ability to make 
Uh, parks are also, you know, quite nice. Also, resource management is a, a decent policy. If you only have one copy of a, um... Alright. Uh, one copy of a, um, strategic resource. So... Could be good for us. Uh, go. And we're stuck, again. Life as an infantryman in this game is just suffering. Because you're constantly stuck behind hills, or missionaries, or worse. Alright, builder. Actually, we were making one more builder. I completely forgot about that. Super sorry. I don't know what else you want me to say. Besides, that was probably stupid. Hmm. Friendship. I guess our alliance ran out. Am I the leader in terms of military power? Yep. Alright, so we know that nobody's gonna go after me, most likely, because uh, I have a very strong ally as well. They're like number three. Let's just make sure their alliance you can walk away from them. Shut up, Sean Bean. Hey, let's uh, get some of them uh, alliances and a research agreement. Oh. For advanced ballistics. I don't know how research agreements work, but... Alright, let's do this. Friendship. Oh, okay. Well, she doesn't want to be friends anymore. Uh, bonus tourism to all improvements that provide culture. I don't really, you know, care. Tourism is obviously not a victory type that I was going for, but, you know. Sure, steam power, extra moment for embark units, the ability to make ironclads, leads to electricity, which is very, very nice. Uh, basically nothing to not like there. So let's grab it. Oh boy. Production is garbage here, by the way. Hot garbage. In fact, it's still smoking and flaming a little bit. That's how hot it is. All right, um, jeez. So all this city does is grow and nothing else. What they need is production. All right, industrial zone. This will take forever and a half, but all right. Let's just go for it. Go. Guess you're stuck now. Sorta, all right. Yes, keep going. Stockholm needs you. Okay, actually, I shouldn't have clicked next turn, but that's how this game works, so... Wait, what? What the hell, man? You were so nice to me just now. You said that I was very artsy. And that I knew a lot about science. And now you're, t you're telling me that I smell? Wait, what did he say, actually? I didn't even read it. I just, see I just saw the denounces you message, and I was like, whoa. Now that is rude. Yeah, nobody's gonna catch up in terms of science. She's got 34 technology, so she should be extremely easy to crush. Funny thing is that... Russia's going for culture and tourism, but they're not even doing a good job. So we're, we're pretty good, I think. I feel okay. Uh, research lab. Just make more farms, I guess, like... There's not much else I can make. Like, a Paradeza is not really that good. Okay, go. And so you, you go as well. Alright, cross that ocean. Alright, should we trade with someone? Yes, let's trade with Soul, maybe? They don't really want me to, though. I don't, I don't, I don't really think it's necessary. Just trade with the capital. A lot of food, a lot of production, basically just a lot of great stuff will come from trading with them. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the next part, we're going to try and go after rocketry so we can get started on our spaceport. Uh, possibly go after the Earth satellite, although that'll take forever, but you know. Uh, basically just really get started and cracking on that space victory. Uh, we're going to need more technologies for it, but we're going to try to go for it. So we can easily grab radio, then we can grab rocketry, then we need, um, geez, what do we even need? Satellites. 
Basically, we need everything, so... Yeah, we'll be going after more science next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon.